Welcome to Mishnah Stare Masechet Pesachim, Perek Aleph, Mishnah Gimal. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to discuss when do we check for Hametz, right? When do we look? So Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Botkin Or Arba'asar, Ube Arba'asar, Bishaharit, Ubishat Bi'or. So when could you check? So over here, there's three options Rabbi Yehuda gives. Either, right, the night, right, when the 14th rolls in, you dial it in the nighttime, as soon as the night fall. Or in the morning, or shatabiur, right? Shatabiur, you need to burn it. Right? If you missed any of those times, you can make it up and you know, you know, do so until uh, you know, until the time of the burning of the chametz. But chamim omrim, chamim say, im lo badak or ba'asar, yivdok be'al ba'asar. If you forgot to check, if you didn't check on the fourteenth at night, then check in the morning. Im lo badak be'al ba'asar, yivdok betoch hamoed. If you mix the fourteenth, check on the holiday itself. You forgot to look for Hametz on Pesach. You should check it after the holiday. Now, what's the machloket over here between Rebbe Yudan and Hamim? Well, firstly, what is Betoch HaMoed and Ahar HaMoed? I said on the holiday, so on Pesach itself, right? Betoch HaMoed. Or Ahar HaMoed is after the holiday, right? This is different than Rashi. Rashi has Betoch HaMoed, he says it's talking about, you know, um, you know before Pesach starts. And even the Ahar HaMoed is also considered... Um, you know, before Pesach starts, because he doesn't want you checking on Pesach itself. The way Rambam explains it is uh, very simple. Trat is basic language. Is you're checking, you know, on the holiday or even after the holiday. We have to check after the holiday because there's an issue of Hamed Shabbat of Pesach. That you're not allowed to benefit from that either. So even if you left it and you may have, you know, forgotten, go look for that Hamed afterwards so you can burn it and get rid of it so you don't benefit from it even after the holiday. Um, Okay, what's the what's the machloket over here between Rabbi Yudah and Hamim? Rabbi Yudah comes and he doesn't want you to potentially eat from the hametz. If you're gonna go look for it, then you may come to eat it. So once Pesach starts, he doesn't want you looking. And Hamim say, no. If I'm going to look for the hametz, right? You know, is, is the language is, it's, you know, it's, they don't hold this kiss out, right? Who at hazira alav? He himself is going to, you know, going to retrieve, look for the hametz, going to find it, the sulfo, in order to burn it, right? achim He's going to go eat from it. No, he's not. He's not worried about eating it. If you're going to look for it, you're not going to come to eat it. Halacha is not like Rabbi Yehuda. Um, now, just the last last line, like last two lines of the Mishnah, umashu meshayer yenechenu betzina. Right? What he finds, he needs to put aside, right, in a, in a safe spot, so he doesn't need to go ahead and check for it afterwards. What does this go? What does this mean? Well, firstly, it's not going back on our Mishnah. It's actually going back and explaining the first line of our Masechet, our first Mishnah, when we said the 14th at night, you look for Hametz leor haner. Now, what you find when you're looking for the hametz, whatever you find that night, any hametz that you find that night, you should leave it in a safe spot. So you don't need to look for it afterwards. Because if you find it missing, you can't find that hametz that you found at the nighttime. Morning comes and you can't, you, you know where the hametz is. Then you'd have to go and check because over here we said, for sure get it a huda. You know, a weasel or something came and for sure move the hametz and it's within your confines somewhere. You have to find it. Right, so when we said in the first Mishnah that when you have to look in the 14th, what you find, you need to put in a safe space, safe spot, so you don't have to come to relook for it afterwards.